When you want to take a date as input with Bixby, you use what's called a date time expression. In this week's Tech Tutorial of the Week, I'm going to show you some sample code that lets you play with various inputs to date time expression and shows you the output that you'd get. All right, let's see this in action. I have downloaded this time test harness capsule from our GitHub repo. Let's enter some date time expressions in there and see what happens. Let's enter next Tuesday, and what do you get? The result is a single date, Tuesday, October 6th, which is next Tuesday. Try entering Monday. You actually get two results. One is this upcoming Monday, October 5th, which is always the first result, and that's always the first date in the future. But then the second result, when I say Monday, I could be referring to this past Monday. And so that's result number two. Now, if I try Thanksgiving, I actually get two results. The first result is the upcoming Thanksgiving this year, but then there's a second result, which is the past Thanksgiving from last year. Now, if I enter next month, I get a date interval starting November 1st and ending November 30th. Lastly, if I say next Thursday at 1 p.m., then I get a single date time Thursday at 1 p.m. So if we jump over and look at the code, there's a bunch of code in the view that actually powers all of this. I'm not going to go over that code, but point out there's four possible things that we return by a natural language date. One is an individual date. Second is a date interval with a start and end date. Third is a date time, a specific date time. And finally is a date time interval with a specific start date and time and a specific date end time. If you looked at the JavaScript, I added some code here that shows you how to extract a date object from date input. And that is your Bixby Tech Tutorial of the Week.